hello everyone i hope you are good and welcome back my youtube channel salesforce and so today i'm going to show you how to work on the flow builder in salesforce and also like data table how to show the data table in lightning flow builder and please keep watch this video until end and please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce and so let's get started without any further delay so let me log in first of all my o so let me enter my password Now you can see I successfully logged in in my org and once you logged in in your org so first of all you have to work on the flow navigation how to find out the flow you know very well under the quick find you can find out your flow so under quick find you have to search like flow once you search this flow under the process automation you can see like flows just click on these flows and uh, before that if you uh, like uh, I will show you the screen flow related our like data table how to show the data table in a uh, flow builder so here before starting this flow first of all let me show you the apac exchange this is the managed package and you can download or you can install this package from your uh, from this ad, uh, this website apac exchange to your org as well okay so here you can see this is the package name that is called flow data table free edition it's a no, uh, not required any uh, like we can say that like credit card or debit card or any uh, like money so it's a free of cost and you can install in your org and you can work accordingly so I already install so you can install with the help of this get it now and you can log in in your org and you can get it now so how to find out uh, this package is available in my org or not so you can find out like installed once you search it's like installed packages so just click on this installed packages now you will be see the like flow data table so here you can see this is the manage package and manage license and you can see each and every details re regarding this package if you want to uninstall it so you can uninstall it or if you are if you want to leave it as it is so you can leave it as it is so I already install it so how to use this like uh, install package into the flow builder and with the help of this flow that is called screen flow and I will show you the data table under the screen flow how to show the data so again you have to search under the quick find like flows just click on the flows and here you have to click on this new button if you want to create new flow so you can create with the help of new now you can see different types of templates and types of flows like scheduled trigger flow record trigger flow platform event auto launched so based on your requirement you can choose that so right now I'm going to show you like uh, this one uh, that is called screen flow and under this screen flow I will show you the account data table or contact data table based on your requirement you can choose that so in my example I am taking like account is a standard object you know so just uh, I'm using this screen flow and click on this create so once you click on this create button now you can see the new environment that is called canvas this is the button menu this is the toolbox and this is the canvas you can work accordingly here right here you can see that this is a new feature under the flow so like auto layout or free form so based on your need so you can do that for now let me change this like free form first of all okay now you can see element and manager you know very well these all things if you don't know so you can watch my playlist related my flow builder and you can get it these all things right so now first of all uh, I will get all the accounts records with the help of this uh, data elements under the flow so just you have to drag and drop this particular place is here and it's asking like level and API name so once you give the label API name is automatic uh, uh, out here right so let's say get account data now you can see the API name if you want to give any descriptions you so you can give otherwise leave it as it is so on which object you want to work on so right now I'm working on this account so you have to choose that if you have some condition like SOQL query as you know like SOQL query and if you need some data like specific data some specific condition so you can choose that this condition like where close like any condition if you want to do under the flow so you can do that so for now I'm not using any condition so let me change this like non none get all accounts records only right 
now you can see how many records to store i want to store all the records and how to store record data automatically store all the fields so just click you have to click on this done button right now because we already done this get records so our job is done and now it's time to click on this done button so once you done this uh, uh, get uh, get record elements you have to connect it this one otherwise you will be get some error like uh, uh, in fl uh, flow you will be see some error without this connecting these things right you know well well so here in this like get record after that i want to show my data table so how to show the data table so under here like screen interaction things you know very well if you need some inputs or output from the user so you can use this screen here like this under this screen it's asking like screen name so my screen name let's say uh, so account data right okay so now you can see the my screen name and under this inputs you can search or you can uh, scroll up and down based on your need and now you can see another things under the custom now you can see the like flow data table under the custom uh, we can say that collapsible or points here so just drag and drop this places here like this now you can see the flow data table right so it's asking like api name and all the things so let me enter the api name let's say account data table something like that okay once you enter this it's asking like which object you want to perform and you want to fetch the data or you want to show the data so i want to show uh, like account data under object api name after that you can see like record related if you have some record related like you can see like get account data it is coming from get records you know very well okay once you done these things after that you have to click on this configure fields now you can see new pop-up like field name wrap text and initialize with so based on your need so you can choose that for now i am taking like id from here like account id i need wrap text that's why and name so you can choose based on your need like this it is a very simple just uh, choose your column here and work accordingly you can work accordingly like that and industry and after that let's say active if uh, anything is related to the active and let, let's say rating i need rating as well so here under the rating i need to find out this rating let's say i need here or just here or just you can search from here let's say rating so now come down come down now you can see the rating right once you done you can wrap each and every uh, like text if you need it otherwise leave it as it if you need some another column so you can add the uh, column like this now you can see the blank column if you don't need this so just remove from here as well okay so if uh, here you can see the custom width so if you need like custom width like uh, uh, like customization like uh, uh, i need some width like uh, 50 pixels or 100 pixel or uh, 150 pixels based on your need so you can do that for now i am taking like default uh, width here and click on this save button once you've done these things now you can see here different types of properties regarding this data table let's say table width number of mobile records how many records you want to show record type and show row number like sort disable check boxes like select mode which type of mode you want to do like table mode is a read only if you needed some like selected row in memory editing database editing based on your need so you can choose that just click on this done right now once you're done you have to connect uh, this uh, get record into a screen and after that you have to click on this save button now you can see this is it's asking like flow name like account data table flow if you need it like some description so you can give the descri description otherwise leave it as it is just click on the save button once you click on this save button now you can see my flow is saved right now if you need some debug or run so you can run or you can debug your flow as well for now let me run first of all and you can see here the output it is coming or not you can verify the flow is working or not if working so you can just activate this flow and use anywhere as you want if you don't uh, like if it didn't work these things so you uh, 
you can modify and you can modify your flow accordingly and you can work accordingly like this so it's taking some time okay now you can see here my flow is running now and after that you can see here 10 plus items account id these columns like account name industry active account rating here you can see each and everything this is the lazy loading and once you scroll down it's a automatic increase your uh, number of records like here you can see one process is going on and after that you can see here like this again you can see one processing loader and once you've done these things now you can see total number of uh, items or total number of record now you can see 69 uh, items here in my account so how to check that so you can check there is uh, so many things okay let's say uh, developer console let me check th this uh, account records with the help of sql query it's a like uh, it's having like 69 records or not i want to check that so how to check that so you can just query on that records under the query editor now you have to write like here let me delete this thing and here let me delete this one select id comma name from account so it's showing me all records if here just let me execute now you can see 69 records just focus on that 69 this one and same thing you can see under my flow that is called 69 here under here like you can see like 69 record that's why you can see the data table as the form of like tables you can see one more things here i want to show like number number of uh, like records here like one two three sequence number so how to show that just click on this screen here click on this flow uh, like flow data table under here you can see uh, like so row number right now it's a hide you have to click on this so row numbers and after that you have to click on done save it and just run again once you run this uh, flow you will be see like sequence number like uh, sr number sequential number we can say that and you will be see like 1 2 3 up to 69 so because it's a total number of records in my account object like 69 records total number so you will be see this kind of things here now you can see my flow is execute and now you will be see this data here so once you execute now you can see the sequence number one two three something up to 69 you will be see 69 here so here let me uh, sc scroll down here and here scroll down and now scroll down and finally you can see total number of records now you can see like 69 records right so this is the row numbers here right but i have another requirement like i want to use this flow uh, under my home screen okay home page so how to show that so you can show first of all you have to activate this flow otherwise you will not use this flow anywhere in the salesforce you can use this flow only run and debug only purpose here but once you activate uh, uh, like activate this flow you can use anywhere in this org so how to use that first of all let me click this uh, lightning app lightning app uh, manager or uh, lightning this one okay app launcher and here you have to search that is called home so once you search home just click this home and now my home page is automatically opened here now you can see the home page now i need to edit this page how to edit just click on this edit page and once you click on this edit page now you can see in the standard things like flows now you can see this flow okay just drag and drop this component from here to here or let me remove this one and let me add it this component from here and here once you drag this component that is called uh, our uh, account create flow or related to my um, like data table so you can work accordingly so just uh, here you can see like account data table so you have to search this uh, you have to uh, click this one because this is our flow so once you click this one now my flow is uh, automatically here and after that you have to click on this save button and once you save it now you have to go back here and now you will be check your data is coming from the account under the flow with the help of data table or something like that so you can check it out here so here it's loading and after some time you will be see the data here so here you can see my data like uh, this is a row number account id account name industry active and account rating and you can see each and every data from here right so 
here you can see total number of record that is 69 in my object that is called account now you will be see here just go down and after that you can see 69 records here now this is the total records like 69 right so this is the way uh, to show your data into the data table using flow builder lightning flow builder so guys i hope you learn something new and uh, if you feel like uh, this is the new for me so please subscribe my youtube channel and please share subscribe and like the channel as well so guys see ya bye bye take care